All right, hello everyone, how are you all doing? So today, right now, I am going to be attempting an educational code forces round. This is round 118, and this will be rated for Div2 participants. Obviously, I'm a Div2 participant right now in this contest. And if I perform really well, I might reach master. I just need positive 25 here. So let's just hope that I reach master in this one. It has been pretty long since I'm a candidate master. And yeah, let's begin. Okay, so Monica wrote down two numbers on a whiteboard. Both numbers follow a specific format as positive integer x with p zeros appended to its end. Now Monica asks you to compare these two numbers. Can you help him? The first line of each test case contains two integers x1 and p1. The description of the first. If the first number is smaller. Okay, so first of all, x1 and p1, okay, right. So first of all, if, uh, or we can just take it in terms of strings. Um, no, strings won't work here. Or let's just take it in terms of strings only. Now if uh, a dot length plus extra one is greater than b dot length plus extra two else If it is less than, then you see out this. Okay, but if the length is same, then if uh, A is greater than B. Here I'm getting equal to, what is equal to? Mm. If the first number is smaller, okay. So I have two, one. Okay, this one is fine. Then I have 10, zero. Oh, okay. So if they both are same, Yeah, so what I can do is I can remove the extra zeros from each number, right? So, greater than equal to fine this is fine let's submit this okay cool moving on to problem b you're given a sequence a1 a2 so on up till an consisting of n pairwise distinct pairwise distinct positive integers okay find floor of n by 2 uh, different pairs of integers x and y such that x is not equal to y x and y appear in a x mod y doesn't appear in a okay different pairs of integers okay it can be shown that at least one solution exists find okay we have to find pairwise different pairs of integers x and y such that 
x and y appear in a okay a pairwise distinct all of them are pairwise distinct fine Largest integer less than or equal to x. All pairs should be pairwise distinct. Find floor different pairs of integers x and y such that x is not equal to y. X and y appear in A. can belong to multiple pairs okay so why should x mod y doesn't appear in a okay so here we have 4 and 1 8 and 2 in the first test case 1 and 4 okay x mod y doesn't appear okay so 4 1 mod 4 okay 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 in the second test case we have 8 2 8 4 n by 2 different pairs we have to find such that x and y appear but their modulo doesn't appear all right and all of these values are greater than equal to 1 okay so let's say if I sort them first of all Eight mod two. Okay. X mod Y doesn't appear. Okay, so Y has to be always greater than X. That is for sure. Uh, sorry x mod y doesn't appear right yeah so x has to be greater than y this is for sure because if y exists here because if x is smaller than y then x will appear right so y x has to be greater than y this is for sure the right thing after that um, right so now if i look at it i, I already have n minus pair one pairs right See out error at n minus one, right? Because the modulo will be less than the smallest value, right? So this is this is fine. So I have four and one, eight and two. Okay, I'm getting eight and two again. Sorry, this has to be i. Eight and three, nine and three, nine and five. No, but why am I getting 9 and 5? Sorry, this has to be different, right? Right, so I'm always taking the smallest value here. And then I'm taking the values bigger than that. So 8 and 2, 4 and 2, this is fine. 9 and 3, 8 and 3. Here we have 8 and 2, 7 and 2, 5 and 2. Okay, this is fine. Okay. 
great. Moving on to problem C. Okay, also let's look at the standings just for a second. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's move to problem C. Monocap is playing yet another computer game. In this game, his character has to kill. So let me just increase the font here. Um, in this game, his character has to kill a dragon. The battle with the dragon lasts 10, 100 to the power 500 seconds. Okay. During which Monocop attacks the dragon with a poison dagger. The ith attack is performed at the beginning of the aith second uh, from the battle start. The dagger itself does not deal damage, but it applies a poison effect on the dragon, which deals one damage during each of the next key seconds, starting from the same second when the dragon was stabbed by the dagger. Okay. However, if the dragon already has been poisoned, then the dragon do updates the poison effect. That is, cancels the current poison effect and applies a new one. Okay, I'm not sure what that that meant. For example, if suppose k is equals to four, Monocop stabs the dag dragon during the seconds two, four, and ten. Then the poison effect is applied at the start of the second second, deals one damage during the second and third second. Then at the beginning of the fourth second, the poison effect is reapplied. So it deals exactly one damage during the four, five, six, and seven. Then during the tenth, the poison effect is applied again and it deals okay, okay, okay. So here it should have been 2, 3, 4 and 5, but since it gets cancelled out, fine, fine. Knows that the dragon has H hit points and if he deals at least H damage to the dragon during the battle, he slays the dragon. Has not yet decided on the strength of the poison he will use during the battle. Has not yet decided on the strength of the poison he will use. Okay, what is the strength of the poison? Oh, okay, minimum value of k. Now, obviously, if the value of k is bigger, then we can do it. The number of seconds. I think this is a simple binary search problem. Right. Um, AI is less than or equal to 10 to the power 9. Fine. So, even if I have k is equal to 10 to the power 18, this does work. N and H. if possible So now, i equals to 0, i is less than n minus 1, i plus plus, right. So here I'm going to be imparting a damage here. So if AR are at i min, okay, h minus equals to minimum of, in fact maximum of, no, sorry, minimum of ARR at i plus 1 minus ARR at i, right? This is the first damage, fine, and comma k. In fact, we can do this above only, I guess, but let it be.
Okay. Okay, three, five, one, and four seventy. This should have been four, right? Fine. Three and ten we need. Yeah, so this could have been done in four as well. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Two will be imparting a damage at two, then we'll be imparting a damage at three. So that's like two damage. Okay, this should have been less than equal to zero. Yeah, let's submit this. Okay, great. This was like an easy problem. I don't know what's so difficult in this problem. This was an easy one. Right. Uh, Yeah, let's move to problem problem D I guess yeah 